Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can validate a credit card using C. So let's get right into it. At the top of your code, import these four libraries because we'll be needing them for this tutorial. After that, we're going to create a function. We're going to do bool, validate underscore card, char pointer, card number. So, we're going to return a true or a false, true for a valid number and false for an invalid number. We're going to call the function validate card and char pointer is how we can use a string in C and card's number is going to be the string we want to check is a valid credit card number. Inside, we're going to be defining some variables. We're going to do int length equals strln card number and we're just going to get the length of the credit card number string so we know how many digits it has. Digit equals zero. This will hold the value of each digit in the card number as we iterate over it. I is going to be our loop counter. Sum will hold the sum of all of the process digits and parity, which is also an int, determines whether the length of the card's number is odd or even, which we need for the loon algorithm. We will be using the loon algorithm to validate the credit card, which is basically checking to make sure everything's a digit. After that, starting from the right, we're going to double every other digit. If a digit we've doubled is greater than 9, we subtract 9 from that digit and replace that digit with whatever the new value is. And then what we do is we add up all the digits and check if it's divisible by 10. If it is divisible by 10, it's valid, otherwise it's invalid. So, we are going to do a for loop. We're going to do for i equals length minus 1, i greater than 0, and i minus minus. So, this is going to be the loop to loop through every single character in the card's number that we've received as an input. So we start a loop that goes from the end of the card number string to the beginning. We do this because the loon algorithm starts processing from the rightmost digit. And so this for loop is just going to be traversing through the entire array backwards. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do if not is digit cards number i return false. So before we even bother doing anything with any digit we're checking, we're going to make sure that the current character we're looking at is a digit. We can use the is digit function to figure this out and cards number i is just the current character we're looking at. If it's not a digit return false. There's no point continuing the validation because something isn't a digit. Then we're going to do digit, which is our variable up here, equals card number i minus the zero character. This line converts the current character we're looking at from a digit to an actual integer. We can do this by subtracting the ASCII value of the character zero from the ASCII value of the digit character. No errors will, will occur here because if it wasn't a valid digit or integer, this return false statement would have executed so we never reach this line of code. Now we've got a little if statement. We're going to do if i mod 2 equals parity, digit times equals 2, if digit is greater than 9, digit minus equals 9. So this is the main part of the loon algorithm. So this little bit of code here is just checking if this is going to be a digit that we're going to double. Because remember, we double every other digit starting from the right as we loop through our array. So this is what the if statement does. If it's a digit we need to double, we multiply it by two. If it's greater than nine, we do digit minus equals nine. After the if statement, we do sum plus equals digit. So we're either going to add on the original digit to the sum, or we're going to add on the new modified digit to the sum. Sum is the integer we have here. After the for loop, we're going to do return sum percent, which means mod, 10 double equals zero. So after we've processed all the digits, we check if the total sum is a multiple of 10. If it is, we return true, meaning the card number is valid according to the loon algorithm. If not, we return false, meaning the card is invalid. And that's it for the validate card function. So this is going to be our main method. We have bool is valid card equals false, char pointer card input equals a credit card number we want to check is valid card equals validate underscore card card input then we can do printf credit card number is percent s is valid card question mark valid colon invalid 
If you don't understand what the print statement means, there's an eye up in the corner. But basically, this percent %s is going to be replaced by either valid or invalid. And this statement here is a ternary operator. A very compressed if statement that we can put inside our printf statement. And basically, is valid card will be true or false? We then do a question mark. Valid will be printed if it's true. Invalid will be printed if it's false. And it, it, they will be printed where percent %s is. With all of that, save your work and hit play. And it's an invalid credit card number because it's just some random numbers I inputted. There's a link in the description below for some fake credit card numbers you can generate to test for your validation. Now we're going to try a fake Visa card and it says valid, which is good. We are now going to try a fake Amex number. It's also valid, that's perfect. Here I have got a fake MasterCard number and it's valid. So thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more C tutorials. Thanks for watching.